my name is Janice Tykerope. I am a licensed archaeologist and the field director for this project. We were really looking for something that was walking distance so that they could, you know, get up in the morning. We didn't have to put them on a bus and go long distance to a site. So we have a lot of historic records for this area of Pickering and we knew that there was uh, a mill complex and we knew that there were some other structures that were formerly on the building, no longer visible. So we did an archaeological assessment at that time to take a look at, um, you know, what, what might have enough material that would make a good teaching site. So we targeted three different areas. This one was ideal primarily because there was a good concentration of artifacts. We had some historic records stating that there was a blacksmith who lived on this corner uh, in the late 1800s. So we knew a little bit about the person who was here. We could, you know, flesh out that for the kids. But also, um, the soil profile seemed pretty good. It looked like it was diggable. So these are all kinds of things that are important for a teaching site. Um, it was kind of nice because the first year when we came, we did find that the units weren't too deep. We could actually get through them in the three weeks that we were here with the kids. And we lucked out and found lots of artifacts. Every kid was able to, you know, find stuff in their screen. But also we found some foundation stones and what we think is a well or a cistern. So that helps in teaching them about, you know, what was going on at the site. Um, interestingly, we also found a lot of material related to the blacksmith's trade. Uh, even though in the historic records it tells us that his shop was really across the street, we're finding all kinds of material on the site that indicate that he may have had a forge here at one time as well. We're finding all kinds of remnant material, um, uh, clinker, uh, things, burnt out coal that would have fired his furnace uh, or his forge. Also remnants of iron. We've got lots of raw iron bar that shows us that he may have been, you know, making stuff over here as well. And tons and tons of horseshoe nails. So perhaps he was even shoeing horses over on this site. So it's been very successful. Um, the kids are always excited to find things in the ground and uh, they're finding lots of cultural features as well like foundation stones and things like that.